welcome to the other one luna channel on today's video we're going to be opening up a full case of really antiquity fairy and this is a series from simon toys i'm a really big fan of really i don't think many people unbox it on youtube the figures are kind of small but i think they have so much detail and are so pretty definitely if you're a big fan of fairies i think you would like this series but let me know down below if you've opened this series. I think this series is over a year and a half old. I actually ended up buying this from Ami Ami, but I do see it's available on Kika Goods still. And if you're curious where I'm getting the translation for each of the figures name, I'm just using Kika Goods. And I do have a code with Kika Goods, so you can use Luna to save 10% in checkout. But let's get into this series. This box is beautiful, right up my alley. A lot of ombre pastel colors. I just love the packaging and I think it goes so well with this series. It's really beautiful. And as you can see, we have nine options that we can get inside and the individual packaging is just as beautiful as the full case. These are quite large blind boxes. And as you can see, we have nine varieties and then some secrets. So for the full case, I will be getting all nine of these individual styles, but we have two different colorways and then there is the one secret edition. So technically there is really only one secret. The other two are just colorways of other figures in this series. I've opened up a full case of Rui before and didn't get any of the special figures but I'm hoping in today's unboxing I do. And the first series was based off of animals and this series I think is kind of based more off of like antiquities that you can get with that typical fairy spin that I love so much. We have nine boxes to open though, so let's go ahead and get into opening. And the bag for these is pretty simple, just says Simon Toys all over it. Ooh, and I think we got one that has pretty big hair to start. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, this one is so cute. Oh, this one looks like a little fox fairy. Oh, this one is incredible, and we even have some metallic paint. And here's a look at this stand. Each figure will have a stand, and we have a cute little lantern accessory as well. And here is our card for Love Locker. Such a cute card. And I think for this series, each of our cards are going to be a slightly different color. Series 1 was the same way. I absolutely adore this figure. It's one of my favorites. I just really love the hair and the ears are such a cute vibe. I really love this figure. I definitely think this is probably going to be one of my favorites from this series. I really love the choice of color. We have like a soft yellow with a lavender. So pretty. And I just love the hair. The hairstyle is just so neat. I love how it kind of looks like fox ears. And we have our little pom-poms in the front. And this outfit is just so pretty. There's just so many details. Even though these figures are pretty small, they pack so much details into them. That's one of the things I just love so much about Simon Toys. They have such good quality. And the boots are even so cute with our hearts on it. And of course it's holding like a little lantern that is clear vinyl with a heart on it. And I love the gold paint. There's just so much to look at and so many details. And I haven't even mentioned the fact that this figure has a tail on it. That is really cute. It kind of looks like a mushroom on the end of it. Not so much like a devil tail. It could maybe be an upside down heart, but I don't know. It's giving me more mushroom vibes. The ombre is just so well done though. I really love the color for Rui figures. If you're really into soft pastel, this is a series I would definitely recommend. Let's go ahead though and get into our second box it does have a pull tab here but it doesn't seem to work really well so I think I'm gonna rip them a bit differently for our other boxes Ooh, this one seems like it has really big hair as well let's see one two three Oh, this one is so cute. It's our blue kind of oceany one. And here is our blue card for Bronze Sword. 
And now that I know that this one's called Bronze Sword, I can definitely see how it looks like it's wearing armors, especially the boots. The boots are all armored up, and the color for this is lovely. Again, we have beautiful ombre details from a darker blue to definitely a more pale blue with pops of kind of an aquamarine. I think my favorite color is the one for the sword. So cute. This one definitely looks like a paladin fairy. I could see this straight out of a video game. I really like the color for this one too, but my favorite thing about it is definitely the hair. Ruiz are so pretty, and I like how different the outfits are between these two figures, completely unique from each other. And I think we need a green or a purple one next to kind of complete our colorway that we have. We already have a pink and a blue one. So who are we going to get out of bag three? One, two, three. Oh, we did get one of the green ones. This is a green and orange one. And that kind of looks like a pumpkin. And this one is called Incense Burner. Our incense burner is just so pretty. I love this one. It looks like the dress is supposed to be the burner. And then at the bottom of the dress, we can see the details of all the flames. I think that detail is really nice. And the red clear vinyl and this gold stand out so much to the actual outfit. It's really awesome. And I love the details on the back of the dress. This one just has so much intricate details to it. The hair on this one is also super gorgeous. And I really like this color combination of kind of like a peachy orange with a green. It's a really fun color ombre choice. I think this one looks so cool. And here's a look at our first three figures. And let's go ahead and get into our fourth box. And who are we going to get out of this one? One, two, three. Oh, look at this one. This one is incredible. So pretty. Wow, this one almost looks like it could be the secret edition. It is just so big and elaborate. And here is the card for Luminous Pearl, our first purpley one. This might be my new favorite. The pearl one is so pretty. I really love the outfit for this one. It is just so glamorous. And I love the white to this pinky kind of purple. And then we have a darker purple and a blue. It just is so cool. And I think we even have pearls in the hair for the front of it. And the shawl that we have in the back is a bit pearlescent. I really wish it was even more pearlescent though. I think that would have been a nice touch. But the ombre and the hair in the back look beautiful. And this one definitely has my favorite eyes with that purpley blue and then that lighter lavender. And of course our clear vinyl pearl in blue is just so pretty. I could definitely easily see this as a secret edition. Like, this one is just so cool. And who are we going to get out of our second box of our row? Let's see who is inside. One, two, three. Oh, this is one of my favorites from this series. This one is so cute. Very mermaid vibe. And here is our card for Butterfly Pendant. And this was one of the ones that comes in a special colorway. I'll put this special colorway up on the screen right now so you can see what it looks like. To be honest with you, I think I like the original colorway more. This one's more like pinky, purple, bluey, where the other one I think looks better in green. Let me know down below though, do you prefer the original colorway or the special colorway? This was one of my favorites that I already knew I was really excited for. I love anything with a butterfly theme. And this one so far has the most translucent clear vinyl, which I think looks lovely as the dress. And this one has really fun hair. It kind of reminds me of Pippi Longstocking. This is just such a cute figure. I love the more limey yellow with a soft green and pink together. 
one of my favorite color combinations and yeah this one is just incredible it just looks like a sea fairy it's so pretty and beautiful definitely one of my favorites and here is our last box from our second row and we already have one of the regular colors so we only have a chance at one more alternate colorway and one secret let's see who our next bag is one two three oh this one is the one on the cover this one's another favorite of mine so cute here's the card for plum blossom pendant plum blossoms are so beautiful and this one kind of reminds me of the fox one for the first series which was one of my favorites i also love the color we have our super cute purple to pink ombre and this outfit, I just love it. I think it's so fun. And this one looks like it's holding a talisman. It looks like maybe a stone jade one. That is so cool. And I just love the plum blossoms in the hair. And we even have some butterflies. I love plum blossoms. They look very similar to cherry blossoms, but they're super cute all on their own. This one is just so fun and spring. And here's a look at our second row of Rui Antiquity Fairy. And let's have a look at the box for our last row to see who we're missing. So we have these two. So we're missing the two in the middle. And we have all of these ones. The only one we're missing is this one. So we could still get an alternate colorway. And we could still get the secret edition. All right, let's go ahead though and see who I get out of the third to last box. I do like series being a bit smaller sometimes. <laughs> and this one looks really big. It is a very wide. All right, let's have a look and see. One, two, three. Oh, this is the one from the first row. Oh, this one is so pretty. I think this might be another flower themed one. And here is the card. This one is called Phoenix Feather Fan. This one is beautiful and you can definitely see the inspiration with a phoenix in the hairpiece. We have the phoenix feathers reaching out and we also have one feather in the hand. And the dress for this one is beautiful. Probably one of my favorite dresses we've gotten. The reason why I thought it looked like a flower one is because the dress kind of looks like petals being upturned. This one is just really beautiful. Probably again my favorite dress. And I love the colors. Again we have pink with a kind of buttery yellow and this really vibrant blue. I think it's kind of like a cobalt blue. Cobalt blue looks so good with gold. And the back of the dress, of course, looks like a bunch of phoenix feathers. Overall, just such a beautiful figure. And again, I think this one is a really good contender for this secret edition. I don't even know if this secret edition looks as glamorous as this one does. Definitely one of my favorites. Our second to last box, who's going to be inside? One, two, three... Oh, look at this one. It is super pink and we have flowers over the top. Oh, this one is beautiful. And this is our super pink velvet flower. I love that. And this is another one with a really cute outfit. This outfit is just so pink and adorable. And the dress for this one definitely has that flowy, flowery vibe as well. We even have a bracelet and an anklet that have a flower on it. And the hair for this one is incredibly cute. I think the hair for all of these is just spectacular. And the elf ears for this one definitely stand out. They all have super cute elf ears. I really love the teal and the green and yellow accents. And we only have one more box left to open and we still have a chance. So the one we're missing is this one right here. So we could get an alternate colorway or we could get the secret edition. I think I'd prefer the alternate colorway to this colorway or the secret. The secret's really pretty. 
but let's see who's in our last box. I don't know how hard it is to get a secret from Simon Toys, but I've definitely never gotten one. Let's go ahead and have a look. One, two, three. Uh, we didn't get a special colorway or the secret. We just got the regular one, and I think this one looks like a jellyfish. And the last one for today's video is Glaze Lantern. I think the special colorway was more of a pinky teal compared to this one, which is more of a greeny, orangey yellow. Both very cute, but I definitely think I would have preferred our special colorway instead. Let me know down below if you've ever gotten a special colorway from Rui. And let's have a look at our glaze lantern. I can definitely see how this skirt looks like a lantern, although it definitely gives off jellyfish vibes as well. This one is so pretty. I think my favorite thing is the color for the hair. It's such a pretty special tealy greeny blue color. And I think all the details on it are super pretty as well. I'm not sure what it's holding in the hand. It kind of looks like a flower to me, but maybe it's supposed to be a lantern. I definitely think Rui should have more clear vinyl details. I just love a dress in clear vinyl. It's so cute. I'm curious what this one would look like under black light. And the little hearts embossed in the dress are so pretty. And here's a look at our full Rui Antiquity Fairy series. What did you think about this series? Are you a fan of Rui or Simon Toys? And do you have any in your collection? I would love to know down below. I really like Simon Toys. I think they do really cute, amazing series, and I'm just such a sucker for anything fairy themed. It would be really hard for me to pick just one as my favorite. I'm really happy that I got the full series for this. I love all of them. And I think they're going to look incredible on display. I haven't heard anything recently about a new Rui series. But I'll definitely let you know through Instagram or a live stream if a new series gets announced. And I hope you really enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you have a great night. <laughs>